The preparations were completed but a day ago, and yet already there are reports of success. It's time I settled things with Colonel Clay. Have you heard yet, Chancellor? The Federation's forces are in disarray! Almost all of our troops have gone out to finish them off! Victory is in sight! How's the battle going out there? The tides are turning in our favor. Silver's forces are being overcome by beasts. Beasts? So the forest can be dangerous to Fetis too, huh? Seems Amelie found the rest of her team. Yes, she was right about that small path. That talent of hers is something else. So, how did things go on your end? Ah. More or less as expected. Hmm. That's good to hear. Oh! Hiya, August! Everyone from my team made it back! Oh? That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm so happy. Now we can continue training! I'm not sure that's a good idea. You worry too much. Eat this and you'll be a hundred times stronger. Go on, give it a try, August. Victory is ours now. Nothing beats the thrill of war. This is the life for me. out soldiers don't cry after what we've been through we're lucky to be alive makes this lousy fort seem like heaven so good to be back no kidding and it's all thanks to Amelie hey wait just one sec if she didn't get lost in the first place we wouldn't have had to look all over for her seems to me like it's all her fault either way we survived that hellhole we're the best trainees ever Good news. All the trainees returned safely. I was preparing myself for the worst possible outcome. Glad to find it didn't come to that, since responsibility would have fallen on me. What was that? No! This cannot be happening! <laughs> what an awful sight! What a sublimely awful sight! <laughs> You're in good spirits, Colonel. Ah, August, it's you! Here, feast your eyes on this. A bunch of scum from Sylvae are being torn to shreds by beasts. 
could this day possibly get any better? <laughs> As it happens, I bring more good news. I've been on a solo mission, during which I apprehended the enemy's commanding officer. I have him restrained deep within the forest. What was that? Are you telling me? Yes. This is a lovely view, but you're about to see an even better one. First hand. <laughs> Looks like my training has served you well, Chancellor. Make no mistake about it, Oggs. You sure know how to please. You flatter me, Colonel. Now then, if you'll follow me. Shall we head to the forest now, Colonel? Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> You there. I'm stepping outside with the Chancellor. Um, a word if I may, Colonel. The battle rages on. If you leave now... Rages on? Are you blind? Dead men can't attack! But, sir... Even if a couple of stragglers do make a move on me, our mighty Chancellor will be standing at my side. He'll keep me safer than a dozen of the likes of you could. Be that as it may, sir. Uh, enough! Let's go, August. As you wish. Colonel! This way, Colonel. Been a while since I've entered the battlefield. Such an overwhelming sense of victory. Feels like I'm right at home. <laughs> Devoured by beasts. I can't conceive of a more pathetic way to die. <laughs> it's only fair, though. We die as we lived, right? Seems these wretches must have lived truly miserable lives. <laughs> Very true. And if someone who's lived as you have were to die... The entire world would be shocked, of course! My name would be remembered for generations to come! Yes. Well, I don't see anyone. Where is this enemy commander you captured? Patience, Colonel. It's said that time waits for no man. But this toy... We'll wait for you. Today is your day, after all. <laughs> I do believe you're right! It's true, though. People stay the same from birth to death. No one really changes. What do you mean? No matter what heights he manages to claw his way up to, a lowlife will always be a lowlife at his core. Yeah, guess you're living proof of that, eh, August? Funny. I was just thinking something similar. By the way, Colonel, do you remember a village called Nahatgal? Huh? Nah, what now? A village once famous for its apple orchards. It was destroyed nine years ago. Oh, I remember now. It was wiped out by a mishap with our beast experiments. I only set foot there because I was ordered to. Otherwise, I'd never have been caught dead there. Oh? Well, I suppose I had a few good points. The view was nice, 
And don't get me started on the villagers. Ah, their screams of agony were simply glorious. <laughs> Is that so? We're pretty deep in the forest now. So, where's this guy we're gonna turn into beast food? What a charming turn of phrase, Colonel. The beast food, as you put it, is already here. What are you talking about? He's been with us the whole time. It's just as I told you the other day. Remember? Those who've grown too bold will be exposed as fools and cast into the depths of hell. Traitor! Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. I had that device made just for you, Colonel. A special favor from Director Fries. Pretty convincing for a mere toy, yes. This is the real device. Why? Why do this, August? Why? Well, you see, to put it plainly, because you are still the same person you once were. Even now, nine years later. Hold on. Could it be that you are from that village? I was beginning to think you'd never catch on. It was an accident! There was nothing I could do! Nothing, huh? Those beasts tore my wife and daughter apart. And you're telling me there was nothing you could do? Shut up, shut up, shut up! How dare you judge me, you bumpkin! <laughs> My leg! Well, that's that, Colonel. I'll be taking my leave now. I have much to do. I'm sure your soldiers are anxiously awaiting your return. I'll tell them their Colonel was set upon by wild beasts. Tragic. No! Please wait, August! I'll tell them that wild beasts can be very dangerous, and that accidents do happen. Yes, there was nothing I could do, I'll tell them. Stop this! It's not too late! Arcus! I mean, Chancellor, please! Oh, yes, that's right. Nearly slipped my mind. Let me offer you these words. Oh, of course! Anything, just please! Colonel, devoured by beasts. I can't conceive of a more pathetic way to die. Hi there, my dear August. I must say, that murderous look of yours really suits you, love. But imagine if poor, innocent Alexandra saw this side of you. Huh? What would she say then? Hold your tongue. My, why this our mood? Your mission was successful, correct? It's time to celebrate. It would be, if I were like Clay. He found joy in the death of others, but I cannot. You liar. Revenge is by far the purest source of joy to be found in this world. Do you disagree? Well, either way, you seem to be running out of targets. There's only one left. Yes, 
That's right. All that remains is him, the Emperor. Next time on Tales of Luminaria, Episode August, Seeds of Despair, I'll be taking a trip down memory lane. Care to join me? <laughs>